Now I'll call this meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. <clears throat> I want to recognize everyone who's in attendance today. Thank you for coming out. Also, those that are viewing the uh, meeting on G10 television. To get started tonight, I'm going to ask everybody to rise in just a moment for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. And I've got a, a, a group of young Boy Scouts that are here tonight uh, from Troop. 790 here in Jacksonville and I've got the names of Noah McAvoy, Dakota Martin and Jonathan Martin if you would come up and, and help us out by leading and you could bring your scoutmasters with you also if you want to and also have some distinguished gentlemen with us tonight from our, our Knights of Columbus some friends of ours uh, if y'all don't mind would you mind helping us also with the uh, uh, Pledge of Allegiance please If you would please remain standing for the invocation. Our Heavenly Father, as always, we give thanks to you. You're so gracious and kind and loving and caring to each of us individually and to our city of Jacksonville. As we now enter a new hurricane season, we pray that through your divine providence that you would protect us and keep us from any hurricanes or severe storms. Care for us and protect us in our fragile region, coastal region that we live in. We pray for our military members who are serving us here and around the world, for their anxious families, and as always, we pray for our mayor and for our council, that your guidance and your direction may always be with them. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. I know that a couple of uh, see uh, Noah. What do you are, you, are you working on a, a badge or level in particular? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He, okay. He's an Eagle Scout. Already. Oh, you're already an Eagle he's Scout. Eagle no, that's quite an accomplishment there. <laughs> this, this young man did your project. Okay, and you're Josh. Josh. Jonathan. I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of project are you working on, Josh? I am. Uh, we're going to recognize him. We are not. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to recognize you in a few more minutes. Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Council, at your places, you have a copy of the agenda for tonight's meeting along with the consent items. So I move that we accept our uh, the agenda and the consent items. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. All right. Aye. Aye. All opposed? Next, we have a four sets of minutes for approval. First, we have a May 7, 2014 regular meeting, a May 13, 2014 special workshop budget meeting, a May 20, 2014 special workshop budget meeting, and a May 20, 2014 regular meeting. Move approval of the minutes as recorded. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Next, we have some presentations to make, and I'm going to come around to the front here. I'd like to call up Chief Mike Canera with us tonight, our Director of Public Safety. Also, uh, Jonathan, you're on now. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to confuse you before. Tricky. 
All right, Jonathan is a sophomore at Dixon High School, and he is an Eagle Scout from Troop 790. Uh, he approached the Department of Public Safety with a plan to coordinate and execute a project that would result in improved conditions for the officers at the Jacksonville Police Training Facility. He facilitated the purchase of materials, developed a working team of scouts and supporters of Troop 790, and he led the team on three different days during April to complete the project. The improvements included erecting poles at the fire lines at the, at the B range, improving the signage, and painting the backdrop and target which benefited the training facility and utility and appearance. And in our uh, appreciation, Jonathan, we'd like to present to you this certificate uh, recognizing you for um, the, the service that you've done for the P Department of Public Safety. Thank you so much. I'd be glad to say a few words. This is the second project that the, uh, the troop has done for us. And uh, I, I got to say that it's in, in the 10 years I've been here, that's the best that range has looked in the 10 years since I've been here. Thank you very much. It's, uh, we have some nice pictures of all the work that they did. Um, it's, it was a great job. And we thank you for that public service to our community. Um, that range is used about 285 days out of the year. So, uh, so it gets a lot of use by a lot of different police agencies across, uh, across our region. So on behalf of them, thank you for all the work that you did. It does look pretty good, doesn't it, the work they did. Yeah. Next, I'd like to ask our members of the Knights of Columbus that are here with us today that, uh, from the uh, number 1541 Senator Albert J. Ellis Assembly. And I would like to read to you a proclamation that we have uh, put together in <coughs> honoring the Allegiance Recognition Day. Whereas the Pledge of Allegiance was written in August of 1892 by Francis Bellamy, who hoped that the pledge would be used by citizens in any country. And whereas in its original form it read, I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And whereas in 1923 the words, the flag of the United States of America were added, and in 1954 in response to the communist threat of the times, President Eisenhower encouraged Congress to add the words under God to the pledge. And whereas Flag Day 2014 marks the 60th anniversary of the words under God being added to the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And whereas the Knights of Columbus played a key role in having those words added to the pledge and continue to play a part in ensuring that they remain part of the pledge. Now, therefore, I, Sammy Phillips, the mayor of the city of Jacksonville, who do, do you hereby proudly proclaim June 14, 2014 as the Pledge of Allegiance Recognition Day in the city of Jacksonville, and I encourage all citizens to reaffirm their Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and to reflect on our heritage, our country, and our tradition of American spirit. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The Knights did play an integral role in 1954 to see under God um, included in our pledge. Because without God, I mean, where's the country going to go? Right? So we're very happy to be proud of that. And on behalf of uh, Brother Joe Normando and Gerald Brandon, the Grand Knight, we thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. This time, I would like to call up um, Chief Lee and Chief Yanero.
And I'd like to ask Battalion Chief Jerry Hardison and his wife. Did, is your wife here with you tonight? She didn't make it. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Hey, Jerry. Good to see you. Jerry Hardison is a Jacksonville native. He grew up uh, in the Half Moon area, graduating from Jacksonville High. He began his uh, fire service career at the age of 15 as a volunteer with, for the Half Moon Fire Department. After working in the private sector, Chief Hardison began his professional fire service career with the Jacksonville Fire Department in 1993 as a firefighter. Since that time, he has served as firefighter two, three, driver operator one, two, captain, platoon training officer, and current, his current rank as battalion chief. He holds an associate degree in fire science from Coastal Carolina Community College and a bachelor's degree in accounting from UNC Wilmington. Chief Hardison is certified as a fire instructor, fire inspector, hazmat technician, and EMT, and was instrumental in the recent successful reaccreditation of the Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services serving as the agency's accreditation manager. After an extensive process uh, for the interview for this position, Battalion Chief Jerry Hardison was selected for promotion to the rank of Fire Operations Division Chief. And with that, we're going to administer an oath to uh, Chief Hardison here. And if you, would, if you would repeat after me, I state your name. Hi, Jerry Hardison. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will be alert and vigilant. That I will be alert and vigilant. In performing my duties. In performing my duties. As a member of the City of Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. As a member of the City of Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. That I will not be influenced in any matter. That I will not be influenced in any matter. On account of personal bias or prejudice. On account of personal bias or prejudice. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and execute. Discharge and execute. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. As. As. A fire operations division chief. As fire operations division chief of the City of Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. Of the City of Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. According to the best of my skill. According to the best of my skill. Abilities and judgment. Abilities and judgment. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Jerry. Thank you, sir.